time to be an NVIDIA shareholder. A company with over a $700 billion market cap is up over 47% in the last month. NVIDIA just continues to make us shareholders very, very rich. Thankfully, I've been preaching the good news of NVIDIA for years, so my subscribers always know what's up. Today, we're going to be talking about why NVIDIA stock is exploding in share price and why I don't think that they're done reaching all-time new highs. I'll also even share my own NVIDIA position and how much money I've made from them. So make sure you show a small-time YouTuber some love by touching that like button and subscribing and let's get started. Let's do a quick overview of NVIDIA for those who may not have heard of this amazing company before. NVIDIA was founded in 1993 by its current CEO, Jensen Huang, who has to be climbing the list of richest people on this planet with the stock's constant success. The tech company specializes in designing graphics process units, or GPUs, for gaming, which is a booming industry, especially in the stay-at-home era that we currently live in, and may forever live in at this point. Its GPUs are also used to power data centers to process AI tasks by companies such as Amazon Web Services. Being a semiconductor company, its chips are also used to mine cryptocurrencies, and we all know how well Bitcoin and Ethereum have been doing lately, as well as some other altcoins that I won't mention. Semiconductors are also used in autonomous cars. NVIDIA had an excellent acquisition of the network hardware maker Mellanox in 2020, and that only raised their data center revenue numbers. One thing potentially going against NVIDIA in acquisitions is that their $40 billion deal to acquire the semiconductor giant ARM has been met with a lot of scrutiny, as regulators may be worried that NVIDIA is going to become a monopoly. Now, if that deal does go through, NVIDIA would get ARM's chip designs, which are essential in smartphones, leading to even more revenue for them. Remember, there is currently a global shortage on semiconductors, meaning there's so much demand in the world for semiconductors that we cannot keep up with production. Common theme here, guys, is that NVIDIA is a player in all these different industries that are on absolute fire. Whether that be gaming, autonomous driving, cryptocurrency, data centers, supercomputers, among many others. And we can see that in their revenue breakdown. Last quarter, they brought in $6.5 billion, with gaming and data centers making up $5.4 billion of that number. And then they had professional visualization, auto, and OME and others making out the rest of that billion dollars. I just want to showcase all throughout NVIDIA's history, they have been able to grow that top line number. In 2011, they brought in just $3.5 billion in revenue, but that number is going to balloon into around $22 billion this year. Their bottom line net income went from just $253 million in 2011 to what should now be around $6 to $7 billion in 2021. Those are exactly the type of metrics I want to see out of the companies that I'm investing in. One thing I would like to see NVIDIA work on though is their shares outstanding dilution. They actually have increased the amount of shares outstanding in the past decade, which means our shareholder value is getting slightly diluted. And Nvidia should have plenty of cash on hand when it pays a measly 4 pennies in dividends a quarter, a number Nvidia has not raised since 2016. But I have a feeling we will put that all aside when we see that Nvidia has obliterated the S&P 500 over the past 10 years, returning on average 57% every year compared to just 17% annualized of the S&P 500 that's nearly 4 times better every single year. A $10,000 investment 10 years ago would have made you almost a millionaire at $920,000 going from $10,000 to $920,000 in 10 years, guys. That's compared to just $46,000 from the S&P 500 in that same time span. I'm at a complete loss of words on those amazing gains. But remember, the reason why Nvidia went up 17% in the past week wasn't for what they did in the past, but for what analysts think that they can do in the future. NVIDIA's Omniverse might be a key platform enabler for the development of the Metaverse apps. The Metaverse is essentially the next step forward in the internet. 
It's going to be creating 3D environments that can be accessed virtually using virtual reality headsets. Omniverse is NVIDIA's virtual tool for the online platform that allows creators to collaborate in real time using physical accuracy simulations and 3D renderings. NVIDIA's technology promotes live collaboration and interactions instantaneously with no need for data preparation. It's already got plenty of companies in its ecosystem, including Adobe, HP, Cisco, Dell, among many others. The Omniverse could be used to run simulations in our future world that will consist of robots, where we will have to make sure they are doing exactly what they need to be doing, and we can develop this at a quicker pace. It also allows for precision timing, repeatability, and performance. For example, this is another place to test self-driving cars and the technology behind them. Several tech giants think that the metaverse will be the next generation of the internet. This includes companies like Microsoft and Facebook. New company brand to encompass everything that we do. To reflect who we are and what we hope to build, I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. Our mission remains the same. It's still about bringing people together. Our apps and their brands, they're not changing either. And we are still the company that designs technology around people. But now we have a new North Star to help bring the metaverse to life. And we have a new name that reflects the full breadth of what we do and the future that we want to help build. From now on, we're going to be metaverse first. Come on, no one's ever going to call this company Meta Platforms, just like nobody ever calls Google Alphabet. As if tracking your data, spreading misinformation, and making people feel bad about themselves wasn't already abundant enough in our reality, now Mark Zuckerberg wants to do this to you in a virtual universe, all while showing you ads. Companies like Facebook are going to be dedicating billions of dollars in research and development for their metaverse products, and they will come knocking on NVIDIA's door because they already have the building blocks for this type of technology. Analysts believe that the metaverse could boost NVIDIA's total addressable market by nearly $10 billion in just the next five years. Although some analysts have already given NVIDIA a giant price boost, NVIDIA actually doesn't release its earnings until November 17th. It's always a little outlier in earnings season. I expect this to be more of a buy the rumors, sell the news kind of thing. I bought some just this past week, and I will buy more once they actually announce earnings, as I like to just dollar cost average in. As promised, I said I would share my personal NVIDIA position. I currently own 30 shares for an average cost of $110. That means I have an equity value of just under $9,000 and NVIDIA takes back the top spot in my portfolio. My total gain is $5,600 or 170%. I've been a shareholder in NVIDIA since 2019 and my earliest shares are up nearly 500% in just two years. Now this isn't the first and it won't be the last time that I talk about NVIDIA on this channel. So make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date on the latest stock news. Make sure you hit that like button as it really helps out a small time YouTuber like myself. And be sure to let me know what you think of NVIDIA stock in the comments below. My videos are always found in podcast form under the Collect Cash podcast name. And I will buy, stash, and collect cash you later.